Now, it's not often that you're going to see me making videos promoting something that Bloomberg has done. But there's a video that he has made through one of his organizations, Every Town for Gun Safety, uh, which is one of his shill organizations where he exploits the families of victims to promote his own personal agenda. He made this video through this organization that I think everyone needs to see. The title of the video is, Will You Stop This? Now, I know this video was intended to be an anti-gun video, but in truth, it's one of the best pro-gun videos you're ever going to see, so you do need to go watch it. I'll put a link in the description below so you can click on that and go watch this video and see how much of a pro-gun video this actually is. I mean, it's an amazingly positive pro-gun video made by an anti-gun group. This video is so pro-gun, I almost have to assume they meant it that way. Because if they meant it to be anti-gun, then they're colossal morons. Because everything they do in this video is pro-gun. They chose a situation where a man is attacking a woman. A spouse is killing another spouse. He breaks into her home, tries to steal their child, and kills her in the process with a handgun. Now, if this had been any other situation, uh, they could probably say, well, handguns are used most often in crimes like this. But this is one spouse killing another. This is like the only murder rate where handguns are not involved in the majority of cases. So they chose a really bad example to start with, one where handguns aren't used very often. They're actually, they're not used the majority of the time, let's say. And then they choose a situation where the attacker is vastly stronger than the victim. It's a man against a woman, forces his way in. And the victim did everything that they say the victim should do. She locked her door, she called the police, she didn't have a gun, etc. And of course the police don't come because we know that police don't react proactively to crime nowadays. They just pretty much clean up crime scenes. So she's left unprotected because she did everything that they say you should do. And in the end, she's killed by her husband. After he tries to steal their child, he kills her. And he kills her with a handgun. But if he'd had anything or nothing, it would have been the same outcome. He could have killed her with his bare hands, could have killed her with a pipe, could have killed her with a knife, etc. In fact, in the majority of cases, that's how he would have killed her. So this whole idea that somehow the handgun plays a role in this crime or a role in her death, it doesn't withstand any intellectual scrutiny at all. It withstands no scrutiny. The only part of this video that would withstand scrutiny is if she had had a gun, she could have stopped him the moment he broke the door down. She could have equalized the field. She could have overcome her physical limitations with a handgun and killed the person that was trying to kill her and steal her child. So you watch this video and you're like, okay, the victim is weaker than the attacker. The attacker is pressing his advantage through sheer force. He breaks her door down, he comes in, he overpowers her, he tries to steal their child. She's doing everything that the anti-gunners tell her to do, and it's not working. It's not saving her. However, if she'd have had a gun, if she could have equalized the force, like I said before, she could have prevailed, she could have saved herself and possibly her child. But, you know, I don't want to tell you everything about the video. Go over and watch it. Decide for yourself. But you won't be able to leave a comment because they disable the comments on their videos. It seems that a group that feels that they're so popular and everyone supports them, they don't seem like they can withstand any scrutiny whatsoever in their comment section, so they disable all the comments on their videos. So if you want to comment, you're going to have to actually go to the discussion part of their channel. So I'll put a link below also to the discussions section on their channel so you can go leave a comment there. Oh, and one last thing, while you're over there, I made a comment on their video, and then Gun Websites came in and made a comment on their video, and he's made it a battle between the two of us to see which one of us can get most likes. So go like my comments I already made in their discussion section. In fact, like Gun Websites too. I don't care if he wins or not. I want them to see as many likes on our comments as possible. So go to their discussion section, leave your own comments, and like my comments, and like Gun Websites comments. So I'll go ahead and end this video quickly here so you can go over and watch the other video. Remember, leave your own comments on their discussion section and like my comments and gun websites comments. And I'm just going to close out here by saying for once, Bloomberg, you did a great job. Keep up the good work.